Hey, what is going on pros and presses? Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing Mirinda and this one is on the strawberry flavour. So before I start, I am still recording the scene effectively lockdown, shutdown. So if there's any background noise, I do apologise because people are at home. So uh, let's see. So I have also reviewed the Mirinda Orange, the classic Mirinda, which everyone knows and loves. I'll put the link to that in the description below. So, I got this big account out of a very random corner shop, actually, and the guy actually gave it me for free, uh, but it was only like, I think it was like 60p or something anyway, but he gave it he gave it to me for free, uh, basically to do my job, so. <laughs> uh, I delivered it to him and he gave me a free drink, so. I thought, yep, I'll pick up this one, I haven't reviewed it, and here we are. So, I'll give you guys a full 360 of the packaging. So, a fairly simple uh, can design. We have, we have two, we have two, like, logo sides. We have the ingredients, and we have more description staff and, and so on, so fairly simple. But the render actual design itself is fairly cool. It's fairly popping out of there. There's lots of different shades of red. We have like a, you know, a strawberry up here and we have a nice big bright green Mirinda logo and we have lots of little font and shapes and stuff. So quite a cool looking can. And the rest of the can is just red and it gets repeated on the other side, exactly. So unfortunately the can's not English, so we kind of will have to make do with the language just kind of guessing really. On the bottom we have nothing and on the top everything's all standard and silver including the pull ring. So looking at the back of the can, so this is full sugar. So we have ugh, these languages, we have, I think that's French. La quality des noirs, I think that's French. We have Arabic language, we have, oh god I don't even know what these languages are. There's like, I think, two, three languages on here. I really don't know, but we'll go by what we can do it. So, um, yeah, there's just no English. The only thing I can figure out is that the sugar content is 12 grams per 100 ml. So a couple of grams above the average, which is ten, uh, generally 10 grams. But that is for energy drinks. But generally, the average is 10 grams for kind of most drinks in general for sugar. And like I said, apart from that, I really can't tell if there's any sweeteners or anything like that. But... Nevertheless, guys, we won't. We will just leave that to one side. It's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Got my Mr. Lyman HD review cup, and uh, let's get straight into it. Hopefully, it won't explode over me. So, like I say, we all kind of we've all tried Mirinda Orange. Well, I'm sure we all have, and we all love the Mirinda Orange. It's that classic Mirinda Orange. It's lovely. You get to the chicken shops. They got the Mirinda drinks. You know the kebab shops. You all love the Mirinda drinks. But the strawberry one is much harder to come by. Uh, the orange is really kind of the standard so when i saw the strawberry i was kind of surprised and thought oh i definitely must try this and see if i can get the blooming pull pull tab up pull tab up so uh yeah right don't explode over me okay i felt that kind of go over there that was quite pressurized so the color is of course gonna be red Oh my god, look at that. Look how red that is. So quite a quite a lot of bubbles bubbles? Quite a lot of bubbles on the top there to be fair, but they are going fairly quick. Um fair few bubbles on the side again, but they are going fairly quick as well. So that colour, that is a lovely, deep, deep kind of bright red. Really, really nice looking nice looking red there. And it is see-through, hello. And yeah, that that's a that's a really nice red. That's a really nice red. I mean, pouring it out, it looks almost like blood. It's that red. It's just that kind of really vibrant, kind of like sickly red, sickly red color. But yeah, really nice color there. So I couldn't smell the drink while pouring it out. So let's give it a closer smell now. Ooh, doesn't smell that strong to be honest. There's a little kick of strawberry smell there but not that much hmm yeah not really that strong a smell which is weird yeah it just doesn't smell that strong let me try and smell some out of the can yeah it just doesn't smell that strong i think the orange smells a bit stronger from when i last tried it but um but yeah definitely not definitely not that strong on the smell side so yeah that's the smell so anyways let's uh let's try some yeah, I do apologise for the background noise. 
is on Destiny on PlayStation. He's not showing, to be fair. So just, you know, people are home. Okay, that's interesting. So it's it's got that kind of marinda kick to it. Again, the orange marinda, it, it's the orange marinda. It's like different to like all the fan oranges, all the tango oranges. It's completely different. But this one is probably very different because there's not really many strawberry drinks about in general. Like there just isn't strawberry drinks. So when you do see a strawberry drink, it's like wow, it's cool. And you know, this is why you know when I. I say I want more strawberry flavoured drinks because it just isn't around strawberry flavoured. So in terms of the sugar content though and the syrupiness, it's not really that sweet for having 12 grams of sugar per 100 ml. And in terms of like the syrupiness, it's a little bit syrupy to be fair. You know, nowhere near as syrupy as like the American, uh, the American Fantas. They are just on another level. But this, this is all right. It's got a little bit of syrupy kick to it. Probably, probably, you know, perfect for most people. But it hasn't got that kind of sugary, sugary backup to it. Just a little bit of soupiness. So on that side, it's nice. Uh, let me try some more. But the overall strawberry flavour just doesn't seem to be that strong for some reason. Whereas when I last drank, say, the marooned orange, it was really popping with the orange flavour. This one just seems to be a bit more relaxed overall. It seems to be just a relaxed strawberry, strawberry fizz drink. I mean, it's not like... You know, it's not disgusting. It's just, it's just a relaxed, weaker version. Um, like there's no weird chemical tastes. To be fair, there's no weird kind of flavors. It's just a relaxed strawberry, but in a good way. Because what I mean by relaxed is, for example, if you have like the Ribena or something, or Robertson's orange juice or whatever, like you can obviously do it different dilution levels, can't you? So what I mean by this is, it's like a, like I say, it's not a as strong flavor wise. But it's still got a kind of little bit of syrupy backing, so but that's not a bad thing because if you say then compare like Ribena to say a smart price brand or a, a budget brand, you then know it's got kind of the cheaper one has that kind of weirder taste and it just really doesn't taste of strawberries or great because it's literally from concentrate and it's and it's really kind of chemically. So in terms of it being relaxed, that's what I mean, and it's it's all right because of that, but it's not popping, it's not vibrant with strawberries, it's not. I'm not getting a real kind of kick to it, or like like a KA drink or something, you know. I'm not getting a really vibrant strawberry kick to it, which I guess is a shame because I was really expecting a nice, you know, big strawberry kick. Seeing the dad, high hopes for the orange. I definitely do prefer the orange, though. Yeah, it's just not. The more I drink of it, it's just like, yeah, okay, it's not. Just it's just not not great but um yeah definitely my best flavor coming from Mirinda. In interesting we're expecting a bit better we're expecting a bit more flavor we're expecting you know to be a bit more flavorsome and stuff but uh yeah it could have been better i mean again it's just for having all that sugar and all that it's just i mean i'm glad it's not as sugary but for having all that sugar you'd expect it to be more sugar I'd rather than say reduce that sugar a bit and then maybe kind of sort the flavor out and then I guess they're definitely on a winner to this strawberry one because not yeah, not all the strawberry drinks that are made are good. Some are bad, some ain't great, or and everything like that. So, you know, it's it's we'll take it we'll take it with a pinch of salt as it is. And I definitely I won't be buying or buying picking up. I won't be buying the strawberry one again. I'll definitely stick to the orange. I definitely won't be picking up the strawberry again, but. I mean, like I said, it's I barely seen the strawberry one about. I always see the orange about, but not the strawberry. So, I guess that tells you something, doesn't it? But yeah, it's it's it is what it is. It's it's okay. It's not great. It's just eh, definitely wouldn't drink it again. So, I will not give it a thumbs up. I will give it of it a thumbs down because it's not disgusting. So I'll give it in the middle because it's just like yeah, whatever. I'm not going to buy it again. I won't drink it again. It's not incredible. So. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. But as always, guys, like I said, the Marinda Orange will be in the description below. Also, if you want to save 10% on any powder energy drinks like xgamer, xgamer.co.uk, you can go on their website and use code Mr. Lime for 10% discount. They've got loads of great flavours on there. If you want the code and the website link, 
that will be in the description below as well. But as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.